Welcome to my channel, Planner with Maserati. I am going to be doing kind of like a setup video or changing this setup to this junior size happy planner planner. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment and share the video. That'd be greatly appreciated. So what you see here is a planner that I had cut down to size from here. You can see where it's bending a little bit because of my purse, but I cut it down here and I cut it down here to make it into a junior size using um, kind of like a cover like this. That's a junior size, but this one's a little bit bigger. Actually, it goes this way most already, but it's a little bit bigger. As you can see here but if it's perfectly for like the pages being the way I want it so let's begin with it give it a big thumbs up if you could please subscribe I would greatly appreciate it so what we're gonna start off is how did I get to here so again I cut the cover of the happy planner I use the happy planner disc as you can see with what's in here and it's not a lot it's too small for the classic size disc it's just too small nothing is open like nothing you know how it's laminated so where you cut past the line of the lamination it's supposed to open the sides did not so that was great the bottom did not so that was great I could have did the top and seen if the top would have did it but I kind of wanted this here and I could have just took off most of this decoration the same with the back I wanted it to say the happy but not you know like the planner or whatever just to make it you know uniformed but as you can see it's overgrown itself so I'll flip through this in a minute I just want to show you what I'm using and then before I show you that this was in here and let me put it back this is a pocket from I want to say Martha Stewart Usually it says, but I think it's Martha Stewart. If not, it's like Toll or somebody like that. So in the back here, I had that pocket. And I have other pockets as well. This is a binder clip just to hold a pen if I wanted it. But in here, I really don't need a pen because I have pens in my pen bag. So as you can see, this is a little taller than it should be. Let me lift this up, Maserati. So this is a little taller than it should be, but it's because I don't have it completely into the pocket, as you can see. It's attached. I threw it in my purse one day, saying, oh, I might need that. You really don't need everything, but with me, I think I do. These I could cut down, as you can see here. So that's probably what I'll do, and I'm probably holding it from you seeing it. This is from Park Lane, the accessory pack. It's just a list pad. It says check it off. But I'm going to go through this as soon as we change the discs. All right. So what am I using? I used the Happy Planner Big. Just putting it here. And with the pages, some of them land it longer. So you just want to make sure you have the right amount for the junior size because it's eight this it's one two three four five six seven eight so there was a little overhang so you want to make sure you have it the right way so there's eight this for the junior size seven for the mini and the nine for the classic eleven for the big okay so this paper i couldn't show you the cover because i threw the cover out as i was doing it you can see this one's the only one that got messed up so i'll put it in the back so this paper was like a book bound. I took the book apart and what I did is, and as you can see, it's not completely taken apart, but what I did is I just used my Cricut blade. And because it was brand new, it works very well. Okay, so now it's too tall. So let me fix that. Oh, jeez. Maserati hasn't been filming for a while. So the videos you see are just being scheduled. Because I had a few things going on in life. And I have a surgery. Well, not surgery. Procedure tomorrow. 
And so today is Thursday the 13th. Tomorrow's the 14th. And I have a, um, what is it called? Lumbar puncture. They take fluid out of your, your back, out of your spine. So again, this is the Cricut. You have to be careful with these because this one was sharp. So all I did was cook, like just slice it. You know, just went down. I went all the way down inside the book and just started doing that. As you can see, it does have string. So it was sewn, the book. So you just got to pull that as you're going. So these are some papers I used in there. So I'm not going to make any more. Not now. Here's another book. This is the, as you can see, it kind of damaged it. I don't need the 2023. So what I wanted to do was have a daily. So this is what the book would have done anyway, eventually, because these books are, the spine's not the best. As you can see, it's just cardboard. And so I have plenty of paper for what I'm thinking of doing. So I used this one. This one came from Amazon. I can definitely link it. It's called, well, it's one of the Believe books. It'll say, like, believe and have some information. This is just the 2023. This is the daily pages, though. So you have the weather Monday through Sunday, the Saturday and Sunday shade it, a memo number, and a date. And then just use it as dailies. The next thing I have is I did do this. I did. I did do this. I did cut this down. This was just laying around. I felt so bad for it laying around. I cut through my little... Thing, so I'm not going to keep it because this was damaged anyway when I bought it. But I did take out... I didn't take out December's or anything like that because I barely used it. And then, like, my little notes. And then, as you can see, I just put it and never used it. So this is February's. As you can see, I didn't use. I didn't really do anything with it. So I was like, okay, I need to carry it with me so I use it. And I don't have to carry so many books with me. I will be picking up string for I don't know how long. But trust me when I say I'll be picking up string. I'm going to drink a cup of water real quick. I went and put this ice cup from Starbucks in the freezer overnight. Tell me why I forgot... I'm using a mask to hold it so it doesn't leak all over because it's like 80 degrees in Chicago. I can't get my straw out. So I'm just putting the mask there so it absorbs the liquid. I don't want my dust to be wet. Okay, so what do I have? There's two options I could go with this. Is Well, three. I can leave it on the purple discs and downsize, but I don't like that. So... Again, like I said, you need eight. So there is seven of the Arc or Toll. I couldn't even tell you which one it is. It's either Arc or Toll. Toll, I think, has its name on there. So it could be Arc. It's probably Staples. And with that, you can see I only have seven. So there's three, six, seven. So there's four here and three here. There's only seven. I have the Marker Stewart. Which is from here. Okay, so I have the marker store. As you can see, it matches perfectly. I can use this and just put these in here. I don't really want to use the cover right now. I'm tired of using these covers. So I do have all of them. I have the eight. So there's four here, four here. So this is what I was thinking, is putting this in the middle and having three and then four. So one would just be the oddball. This is too big. As you can see, it's like a little bit too big. But I thought it would be cute just to stand out from the black because it's purple and gold. I thought it would stand out. But then there's the Martha Stewart, which is, I think, a little bit bigger than the classic. But see, I would have preferred these. And then, again, you can see the difference in these. So we'll see what happens. So that's what I'm going to do right now is use this one. Even though this 
really doesn't match this, but I think it will look pretty. So let's go ahead and start. So what I'm going to do is I have so many things in here. Let's take the covers from the back. I'm just pulling it off really quick. Move this to the side. I have the covers. So if you're always, if anyone is familiar with the Happy Planner, you can put the disc together and put the, um, put the covers together and put the disc at the same time. I like to go like this when I'm doing it. I know this is the back, this is the front. So this is what I like to do. You could do it either way, it doesn't really matter. It does look pretty. So if I wanted to use this cover, this wouldn't look too bad, but this is plain to me. I wouldn't be enjoying the cover as if I enjoy the front. The black would have been perfect for the um, black discs. But I don't know how that would look with one disc being bigger than the others. It's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. I think this would just hold the planner and maybe take some pages out. Okay, so here we go. See, I do this. It's easy. Now, I'm going to flip through here. Starting with, I'm going to take these notes off. This one here. This is something I created off the Happy Planner. You know, the ones I always show you. And this is Dollar Tree. So it's like a little sticker. It's starting to move. So they don't last forever. It's the little blings that you get at Dollar Tree. And it comes with a whole bunch. So this will make this sturdy. I'm not going to put the back pocket in just yet. Because why? I want to make sure I have enough room to close it. Does it go this way? Okay, so now I can do it this way. My first pocket I'm going to take, I put the Happy Planner Wrong Wrong Girl here. And then this is just a ARC pocket folder. Already pre-punched. And as you can see, the ARC is smaller than the Happy Planner punch. I have this one which is just like a little divider. I did use the marker store. No, I'm sorry. I use the Happy Planner punch to punch these. So it's just like a little acetate. Okay. I love getting these. They're free at Plan With B. This is task reminder. So anything on this list, you will, if you look at this list, will remind you to do something. Prep to-do list, check agendas, prep schedules, personals, kids, work, school, extracurricular prep, um, update trackers and logs, grocery shopping, put away, vacuum, carpet, and then so on. H2O plans. So what are your plans? Behind that, they give you a floral. So a flower. Very pretty. I love the illustration of that. So that stays in the forefront. Happy Planner. Uh, Martha Stewart. Not Martha. Why do I keep calling that Martha Stewart? The Happy Planner uh, Punch. Try not to get too long in this video. Arc. Um, you're going to see a bunch of these. They're dividers. I have little dividers too. But dividers. That's where I store them if I need them. I'm not going to go through all the paper. I just want to show you how I'm setting it up. Okay, so I'm going to grab a chunk of this. So I bought this when it was school time two years ago for the staples. Um, they had like the cover, the notebook, stuff like that. So I bought that. Um, I have like a monthly reset for August, but I'm going to use it for every month. August again, monthly action. That's stuff that I make. And I don't remember the paper. I think it's the same paper. So the next thing is... So this will always stay in the front with the first divider. This is my inbox section. And 
plan with B. So a lot of freebies she gives. Well, so you can see the link. That's what it looks like. And I just hole punched it. And it looks like notebook paper. So hole punched it for the Happy Planner. She sizes it for, I believe, all planners. Or majority of them. And then I just have extra paper. And then here is another trigger list. The address changes. So things you need to change in your address. So like if you're moving, you need to change all of your information. I leave that in the back because I move quite a bit. So thinking about moving again. That's why I haven't did a room tour or a house tour. Uh, people are moving out of here left and right. And I know you're not supposed to follow. Come to find out that they're raising the rent. Um, like another 100 to $200 a, a year. No, no. I pay it already high. So this is the paper that I showed you originally. I'll show you to it again. That's the stack. I did mess up, as you can see, with the... It's going to do that flanking in and out. I did cut through, but that's okay, because this is paper that you really don't need to keep. It could be scratch paper. You choose, you know. And here's those strings I was talking about. So what I like about this paper is it's pretty thick. And not only that, so, like I said, it's pretty thick. It has the line like it's a school paper. So that could be your checkoff box. So that's that one. That's the divider for that. I don't want it to be a two-part. So another divider. And of course they're not in order. So I will have to fix that later. So let's actually fix this one now. Because this is technically the first one. When I find the second one, then I'll fix that one. But I'm going to put this one in now so that I know it's here. You can tell it's the arc and which way it goes. So this is the second to the last. I think there was five or six dividers. So let me grab the second one. Yeah, this is the second one. probably just messed up one of my pages okay so here is the second divider this paper is from okay so let's separate it this is the monthly and I'll show you a blank one so we'll do it this way this is what a blank looks like it's undated Eventually, I want to get away from the classic size and just use the junior size. So that's what this one looks like. Okay, so we're going to get the dirt divider. And put it in. It said Bible study. I was going to use it for Bible study. So I just put it here. So it looks like it's uniform now. The next set is the weekly so this was a different kind of paper this is gonna have to probably be like me stopping the video and then going back okay so this was a different one but it's planned by b planned by b yeah planned by b i believe and it came with extra vellum but it was like for fall or something but i just used it because i printed it out and i just think it looks like the little lightning bolt whatever thing it looks cute I didn't finish March, so I started right away doing April, on April 10th, but I didn't finish. So, and then I had some things going on, so that was that. I had to go get a knee brace, and I was fitted for a knee brace two weeks ago, and then picked it up on the 10th. Alright, so that is that divider. This is this divider. And this one is my weekly from Truly Blessed. This one I kind of butchered in the front. I just did these videos for April, so it's not up yet. And I do have, I think, March in here to fill in. And again, I didn't start using this one again until just a couple days ago when I set up this planner. So I'm going to stop and come right back. 
Okay, so I'm back. So you wouldn't even know I left, to be honest with you, once I edit the video. Um, so yeah, so you can see I started here on the 10th. This is my little bookmark from the Tull. I use all those brands. Martha Stewart, Tull. Staples, I think, is Arc. And then um, I just use all, all kinds of stuff. So this is what it looks like blank. And I have all the way till July. So I still have, I think this is a 18 month. So I think I still have more months in here. Actually, it should be right here. Let's see. It may not be any more months. This is February. So yeah, so I either have it somewhere or something. But I should have more months. The next thing I'm going to put is the next divider. And it should be the top divider. Because there's still more. Oh, I turned it. Okay. So here's the, again, we're going to the beginning. of the first divider so i put this here and the reason i put this here is because actually no this is wrong it should be here i need to get another divider but the reason i put that there is because in april i ended up putting the mini happy planner budget so it's undated this is going to be the april one bill pay an expense tracker and then your monthly budget for the following month but that'll start in april i mean not april i'm sorry may because then the last one will be so january february march april may so no somehow i got it wrong but i'm gonna start it in may okay so the next one is my dailies so that is this divider Okay, so I'm going to do this again. I'll show you a blank one. So this is what it looks like, if you remember from the big book. It's 800 pages, so I have plenty of paper. What I want to do is start my May goals, um, just like if it was a regular stayology, and then just washi tape it or do something with that. Because I really don't need the date here, the memo, and the holidays, and the days of the week. I could use it, use it as a basic, you know, bullet journal. So I'm still deciding. Now, if you see, we're getting closer to capping off, you know, how big it is. Maybe the other one is bigger. I have no idea. But I haven't put anything really in here. I think I'm going to hold off on more of that paper. And then I'm going to put in... Okay, so I'm going to put in here planner routine, calendar, business, social, health, and fitness, um, home, commonplace, memories, faith, budget, church online, because I don't go to church. I want to do it online. It's not because I don't want to. It's because I feel, I don't know, weird about it. I don't know. I couldn't even tell you I feel weird about it. Planner routine for mornings, life planner, business section, fifth. Faith and planner, faith planner and budget planner. And then I have planner routine in the evening, skincare routine. Um, I can't even grab the pages. This is graph paper. It came from a different uh, paper pad. Paper, uh, can't even think. Paper notebook. Paper notebook. I was already really. A different notebook. There you go. It did not come from the daily planner. As you can see, it's two different sizes and two different colors. I am one of those people that don't mind sizes in your planner. Like if you have a classic size and you want to knock it down into a junior size, I'm going to show you. I have done that. So it works perfectly fine in here. As you can see, I cut the last hole. Or two holes, something like that. So here's the chore routine. And then just extra paper, just in case I need it. I feel like I'm overstuffing and I'm not taking everything with. 
let's see how it closes. Now it closes pretty good. Like this goes in the front anyway. So this is what this is. So this is just extra paper. Extra paper to write on notes, doctor's appointments, you know, like when you're looking for that paper. Sorry, I keep shaking this camera. So when you're looking for that paper and you really need just a sheet of paper and you don't want to write on your daily sheets or whatever, that's what that is. All right, so this divider is different. This is just a regular, um, I cut down, I believe, from a big one. And then I just put a Heidi Swap pocket. It's supposed to be my faith. I do have a meal prep one. I haven't did anything with that yet. I want to look for something really good for that one. Keep in mind, I have the Happy Planner stuff still. But I would love to cut down stuff and just put it into one of these. It's easier to carry. It's not as heavy. And it's just easier for me. So here is the ARC Planner paper. It comes like with a title. You could date it. And then you have like this whole... Oh, a little extra. But yeah, so you have all that lines. This is deadlines for YouTube. So four or five set of sticker sheet collection and flip through. I must have did this. This one probably is old. And I just put little stickers up on top. I don't know why. It looks silly after I look at it because it's crooked. And then just doctor paper. Um, let's see what this one is. I think this is ARC. It kind of looks like it. So then I have like a to-do section. So my to-do section, I kind of want to do like faith. Well, it's going to be all different kind of to-dos. It's not going to be just one little to-do in here. So here I have read the Bible within a year. This one will be something different. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? So it's not like, okay, so this is in the faith. This is in the business. This is in here. It is all going to be together. So when I'm looking at my to-dos, I could see them all in one side. And then this is from Plan Would Be. Yes, Plan Would Be. So it says faith over fear. This is supposed to be in a different color, but I do black and white. Saves on ink. This is the second page to it. So when you put them together, you can see where some are printed, some is not. Some are printed here, some is not. When you put them together, it looks like a beautiful floral. So that's this one. And then here is the to-dos. So this technically goes here. And then this goes. Because I like the pretty stuff in the front. And then my next section is just line paper. This is just line paper, which is technically this divider. It's supposed to be social media, which you can see where I put that at in the wrong section. Somehow I ended up with two of these bottom ones. I must have more dividers somewhere. This one didn't go all the way in. Okay. So I must have more dividers. Sorry, this video is probably long. I just want to go a little bit more into detail with this. And if you had any questions, you can, you know, leave it in the comments. But see, they're all arc. So I know it's in the right direction. I just think there's more of these. So the next couple of pockets, um, I need to take something out. I forgot I had an appointment in June. Darn it. Okay, so just taking a few things out for appointments. This is arc, so it goes this way. So there's another one of pockets. And that'll be for important stuff. I just have like little dots, uh, all different kind of little stickers from Amazon. This one, I could not tell you who it's from. Arc. It's technically backwards. It goes this way. So it is backwards. Let's fix it. Well, we are here. So they're little just circles. Just all different colors. Different kinds. 
and then it goes to another color, another color, another color. Again, just different kinds. There's a bunch of these. I don't know where they're at. And then the circle was the last one. So that's this one. Zipper it up so I don't lose anything. Okay, that's that. All right, so let's see how far this is. It's still okay. I think because I added this, these papers, maybe. I mean, it's better than it was like this. Like, it's better. If I could find my disc, I will change it once again. But for now, this is perfect for me. I have one more pocket. I really don't need all these pockets, but I love to have pockets. Because certain pockets I want certain things in. So this is Arc, again. It's a, in a, like a gray color. And it's a double-sided pocket. And then last but not least, I may just go ahead and add the last of the paper because it's only that that's left. And then you remember this pocket. So there's this one. I told the whole Hold on, I'm So there's this pocket. And then last, I'm going to go ahead and just add, I think, the rest of these. Oh, wait. And then I have my grocery that's going to go in the front. And, oh, this is just, this, no, 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 this goes in the back here, and I'm going to put it here because that looks better, and look at all the dust I have to put in a box, I'll show you where I, I've been storing them since everything is in the garage, I mean not garage, I don't know why I say garage, um, everything is in the storage unit. Okay, so here we go. Now let's see the moment of truth. This is where it gets chunky. But it's not as bad as it was. When I add this, it will be. So, grocery list. Cut it down. Get it done. I didn't have to cut this one down. This is Chrissy and Designs. I did have to cut these down. But not too bad. I only cut the bottom. And I have daily sheets. So everything is in the forefront. And that is it. So the last thing I'll show you is where I put the disc. Sorry the video is so long, but I needed to show you how I do it. Eventually, I want to cut this one down and put it here. But that's later on. No time soon. I have plenty of paper for now. So that takes care of this. And then I just put my little notes. Actually, yeah, put my little notes right here. So I know I have videos. So that's that. And you can see where the cover is not staying. This one here. I was already just bouncing away. This one here is where I've been just storing the discs. Dollar Tree. I could use it for the cash envelopes, but I've been using it for this. And so now I know where the discs are and I don't have so many containers. And there you have it. So that is everything Maserati has done for this planner. And of course you need that. So thank you for watching. Any kind of cutter would work. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yes, this is going to pop out. But once I start holding it like this, it should work. I may downsize a little bit. Who knows? I may take the pocket out because I think that's the biggest issue. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.